Hi everybody, we are up here at the storage centre and as you can see uh, my beautiful son here has made a uh, return to the videos after a hiatus of three or four uh, videos. Uh, you've been dealing with some fame and... Um, yeah, well you know, all them people coming up to me are just like, damn you're hot, and it's just like, I know. Then you should take your coat off if you're that hot. <laughs> um, we're up here today, we're going to perform a pretty important task on the caravan. It's a cleaning video, um, but we're going to clean the roof. If you haven't already seen the video on how to clean a caravan, I'm going to put it right on top of his face right now. Um, click on that and that's the video that we... Uh, it's one of the first videos we ever made, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Um, shows you the steps that we do when we are cleaning the caravan. Now. Actually, we do nothing different now. We've kept that same regime for two and a half years now, and you know we're pretty happy with uh, with what we do to keep it clean. But what we didn't show you is how we clean the roof. And I'll be honest with you, we don't clean the roof as often as we clean the sides of the caravan. Um, we do it once every three months or so um, because it's just a lot more work. And there's a few different steps that we need to go through when we're cleaning it. Okay, so starting left to right, let's go through what we've got here. We've obviously got ourselves an empty clean bucket here. We've got some uh, fresh water here in our container and our sprayer as well. We're not putting any chemicals in these two. Instead, what we're going to be using is this silky Enviro wash into our bucket here. Now, we've also got uh, the cleaning utensils. We've got a foam brush that we've picked up from a cheapy store. And we've got ourselves an extendable brush as well, which we're going to be using to initially get all the dirt off the roof. Now, on top of all of this, we've also got some microfiber cloths. We've got some sponges and our cleaning mitts as well. But I suspect that for the moment, we're not going to be using any of that. We're just going to be using this kit here. So obviously, for getting up on the roof, we're going to be using a step ladder, um, And this is important why I've brought Tom with me today. He's going to be footing the ladder and also supplying me all the equipment I need whilst I'm up on top of the roof. We're doing it in pairs. We're going to take it in turns as well, just to make sure that no one is doing any of the work in bulk. So let's hop up on the roof and I'll show you what it's like. OK, so this is the roof. And as you can see, it's in a pretty sorry state. There's lots of green patches everywhere. Uh, and if I zoom into the back of the caravan there, you can see there's lots of green streaks, etc. And you can see that we actually haven't cleaned this for a number of months. But don't worry, all this will come out really clean in a minute. Okay, so that's it now wet. Now we're gonna do is uh, use this brush here to clean the, the roof. And I'm not gonna extend it. I'm just gonna use it locally to me. So, Tom is down there at the moment. And we're just gonna dab it into the, the wash and then he's gonna pass it up to me. So using that brush and uh, just walked really just the, the solution that we're using there has really brought this roof up already quite a lot but as you can probably see here there's quite a lot of surface muck so what we're going to do is spray it down again thanks Tom and we're going to try and get a lot of this muck off I think you can see already it's made quite a difference. So what I'm going to do now is try and get rid of a lot of the surface water using the sponge mop that we've got. So it's important to make sure that you tell your co-worker to move out the way or if you're in a particularly uh, belligerent mood, don't. Right, I'm pretty sure you can see the 
difference of where I've cleaned and where I haven't cleaned it's made quite a difference already as you can see um, it's not dry yet perfectly and you can probably see some streaks in there etc but this is just the first pass uh, that we're doing at the moment um, we want to get most of this clean as we possibly can um, but it does feel really clean already Right, so we've successfully done one side of the caravan. All we need to do now is the back, the other side, and then just finish up at the, the front. Um, so here's a couple of top tips for you as well. Um, we are obviously on a storage site and we don't have access to um, high pressure water or a hose pipe, etc. Um, if you did, I think it would be a lot easier. But here's the thing, try not to get any of the water in or around any of your vents. You don't want to spray any high pressure around your vents or your um, aerial or the skylights etc um, they're not designed to have high pressure water aimed at them so be gentle around any of the extremities now we're obviously on a storage site so we don't have that problem but again you know we're not going to aim our pump up sprayers at any of the vents itself we're going to go through a lot more water doing the roof than we would usually do going around the sides simply because we need to swill off quite a lot of muck from the roof itself in terms of getting rid of the, the muck off of the roof, here's another great tip for you. Pitch the caravan slightly high at one end or low at the other end, whichever which way you want to do this. We've pitched our caravan so it's high at the front, so all the water is going to naturally drain off the back of the caravan. Um, and we're using that to our advantage as well, and we're just pushing the water that way so that you know it clears the roof and all the muck off quite quickly. Um, when it comes to your TV antenna, Erect your TV antenna as far as it would go. That means you can get around the uh, nubbly bits and the, the grommets themselves in the roof. And another top tip as well is pitch your antenna to the side if you've got one like what we've got. Uh, pitch it to the side, that means you can clean the underside of the antenna as well. Okay, so let's see if we can see the difference. That's the side that we've done. Obviously that's the side we have let to do. Um, and as I said, what we've done is I've just put the aerial up on its side like so. And as you can see, we desperately need to clean the underside of this antenna. Um, and we're just going to clean around the uh, grommet there as well. Thank you. I think it's fair to say this has been longer than three months. Certainly not going to get any beauty, win any beauty pageants. No. Oh, who knew? Oh, bloody. Oh, there you go then. Um, so just as an FYI, we've now done the one side, the back, and half of the other side, and we've just gone through um, eight liters of water. We're down to our two liter mark there. That's how much water we've used so far. So it just goes to show that you know we're going through more water than we usually would, uh, but it's not. Um, impossible to use pump up sprayers like this uh, when you're you know when you're on storage site uh, so uh, I'm just gonna top this one up now Tom's gonna have a little rest it's looking lovely with the GoPro on his head yeah it's a good look right we are done um, it's taken us a few hours to do I won't lie it's not a particularly easy job and you do get covered um, let me take apart the roof anyway and I'll show you what we've done so there we go that is the roof all nice and clean now you can see that I've actually gone back and gone over the roof lights as well not that you would have seen that in our scrubbing videos earlier on and uh, it's generally looking quite good up here I think I think it was about six or seven months ago that we last cleaned the roof like that um, it, it was uh, it was a long time ago and I think the green and the brown uh, muck on the roof I think that's uh, yeah it's a bit embarrassing I suppose that I shouldn't be showing you uh, how bad the roof is but you know that's that's it really so what causes all of this mad build-up is the fact that it's situated here just a short throw away from some big trees and the big trees 
produce quite a lot of that green that you see and then that coupled with the black streaks just makes the whole caravan absolutely filthy now we're pretty good on cleaning the sides around the caravan we do that you know every time we need to go away Tom and I are up here and we just go around and it takes us a couple of hours so it's taken us about three four hours actually to do um, to do the roof here today but we haven't rushed we've taken our time for us it's a two-man job because you need one person on the ladder and the other person passing bits up and down no doubt you could do it on your own if you had uh, more space and you had the kit set up around you but for us and um, just to make it nice and safe you know it's a two-man job so there we go guys that's it any comments or questions feel free to put them down below and we will see you next time take care now bye